run in such a way that you may win it. <coughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may we run our lives in such ways that others have no doubt of your presence within them. Please help us to show others how to run the race that you have set before us. In the name of your Son, we pray. Amen. Well, I said at once, Happy Valentine's Day. I see some red. How'd you make out today? I think it's neat. It's a good day. I like Valentine's Day. How'd you make out? Like a man. Good man. Details or just going to leave it as you see the heart that's on pastor, and this has been one of the fun things I've done for the last couple of years, and I do it all a year, but uh, I just happened to find a basket full of these sticker hearts, and so you trade your heart for a hug, and then they're transferable, so you see Bert and I have already disappeared hours because we got, <laughs> we got an extra hug, they're in the back row back there, so uh, I just want to stop about it. Anybody else? I got no. flowers. Hmm? I got flowers. You got flowers. And Twizzlers. And Twizzlers. Which one did you like better, the Twizzlers or the flowers? I refuse to answer. Okay. <laughs> <Smart> <laughs> Valentine's Day and birthdays, for that matter, are kind of neat because we build up to them throughout the entire year. I mean, some call them Hallmark holidays, but Valentine's Day was set aside as a focal point, to be a day where we have <laughs> outside matters, the love that we feel inside, hopefully. And so we give gifts. We give flowers or candy. If you forgot last year, you give jewelry or cars. <laughs> if you forgot two years in a row, you give houses and boats. <laughs> I love, yes, diamonds, diamond mines. But you give gifts. And this week, I think it was Tuesday night, Kim and I sat down at the table with Ian to fill out these Valentine Day cards for his preschool. We give the Valentine Day cards, not just between husbands and wives, or boyfriends and girlfriends, but families and classmates. And when I was watching him fill out those cards, slowly, all 37 Sorry. of them, <laughs> I got to realize what they mean by the phrase, it's the thought that counts. It wasn't the little transformer hologram that the kids liked, or that Ian was giving. It was that time of painstakingly writing I-A-N, a skill we just learned on each of those. And it got me to thinking, he had to work to learn to be able to give that gift. That little tiny card that showed his friends how much he cares, right? And we work to give these gifts to our loved ones to show them how much we care. It's just a gift. But the work that goes into it, the thought and the dedication behind it, is what gives it its importance. And it got me thinking about sports because I was reading this text on Tuesday too. And throughout all of the sports I've been a part of, and if anybody else here has been a part of them, you know where I'm going with this. Be it football or wrestling or weights or ballet or band. If you don't practice, you'll never be ready to compete. If you don't put in the time, you won't know what you're truly capable of. You know? We have to work. We have to struggle. We have to dedicate ourselves so that when we get that chance, that one chance when that competition comes up or that game day or that chorus event, when that one chance, that one motion comes up, we can take all that we've built and present our best face. 
give our absolute best at that moment when it really counts. And how much more important is love than weightlifting? <laughs> Come on. How much more important is God's love? That's what Paul's talking about. We've already won the race. We were granted the imperishable trophy before we even got to the starting line. Jesus won it for us. Forgiveness of sin. Eternal life. Love. And then, he taught us how to run. How to run as champions who aren't after self-gratification or diamonds or flowers or twizzlers. They're nice. But we're taught to run as Christians. We're taught to run and dedicate ourselves daily through prayer and praise, through denying some of the things we might want in order that others might have the things that they need. We run to discipline ourselves so that when that one moment comes, when we need that faith to be strong, Either for ourselves, when that moment comes, and disaster strikes. And we need to be strong. We need to know that we have that connection to God and those internal resources to survive. Yeah. Or, when we have that one moment, when we meet that one person who desperately needs to know God's love, then we will be at our best and be able to put forth God's discipline. That's why we discipline ourselves. It's not so that we're better, but so that we're better for Christ. It's not so that we're faster. It's so that we're more faithful. It's not because we love to win, but it's because we love and have been loved. This Valentine's Day, let us remember all of the sacrifice, thought, and love that God has put into your lives. And let us live the other 364 days of the year dedicating and building ourselves up so that we, when we get the chance, might be able to show that love to the other person who needs it. Amen.